Good morning. I am going to make my shrimp soup right now. This is um, the shrimp paste that I made the other day. It has um, fish sauce, sugar, salt and pepper, and uh, just grounded shrimp. And that's it. And in the soup, I have um, two cups of chicken broth and two cups of um, water or two cans, the same one that I use um, for the chicken broth and um, about three tablespoons of chicken bouillon and we're just going to squeeze out the shrimp into the soup let's see if you guys can see that okay whenever it starts to boil or get a little bit hot you can go ahead and just squeeze it and then spoon it like this whatever you're comfortable with try to make a ball should be good yeah maybe scoop it up because then it has a better cut because I did that first one and it was kind of like sloppy but yeah once the fit the um, shrimp balls start to float that means it's cooked fully cooked so just watch out for that Making lots and lots of shrimp balls here so this is about a pound of shrimp and looks like a good amount for this bowl of soup. We were supposed to cook this a couple days ago, but um, so much food and trying to order and support people in their restaurant and stuff and also catching up with our essentials and seeing what we're missing. And sometimes I overdo it by overcooking so much because I feel like we're not. And then, and then sometimes we don't have materials for certain dishes, so we have to go out to get it. This house is like a, a new house since I got rid of everything. So yeah, kind of have to slowly make it a home. We wanted to buy a place in Pasadena, but that has to be on hold for now because jobs are slowing down. And um, yeah, just gotta go with the flow. And good thing I'm a um, hoarder when it comes to uh, finances, so. I always have a really good um, cushion for uh, craziness like this that's happening right now. So I guess it does come in handy to save and invest and all that stuff. All right, so we're gonna wait for that to boil, and once it boils, and it should be good. I should uh, get the um, spinach ready. Here is the spinach, and we're just in time because this expires March 20th. Today is March 20th. So I think I'm going to um, put the spinach in after the um, shrimp boils because um, I feel like it might shrivel up too much, and I kind of like it fresh and a little bit crunchy. Some people like it kind of wilted, but for me, it's more better if um, I have that extra green and the nutrients are still in there, hopefully. When it's wilted too much, it becomes like, um, you know, a blob and no more nutrients. I also put in tofu. So if you guys like tofu, then go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, this is uh, pretty much it. I think it's starting to boil now. And once it boils, then turn off the fire, put in the spinach. Give it a nice stir. Shrimp cooks pretty fast, so I think it's about maybe a minute or two minutes, something like that. As long as it starts to float to the top, it means it's done. It's really boiled, so I'm going to grab a few handful of spinach. Put it in, push it down. Let's see, turn on the lights. Should have done that earlier. So the spinach will definitely wilt a lot because it's hot. So you can put a lot in here. Like I feel like you could put the whole thing in because it will definitely wilt. And then push it down, push it down. So I'm pushing it down with the um, chopstick and just kind of like distributing it to the bottom of the shrimp, the soup. So you have a good um, balance in there. See, so now it's nice and green and it shouldn't be too wilted. Also, the oven is clean now. I feel much better. So, cooking will be less stressful. Yeah, so let's see if I can add more. Yeah, I can add more spinach. It's 
good for you, so go ahead and add the whole thing. And continue to push down while the water or the soup is still hot. And then you can top it off with, um, what do you call it? Pepper. Let's get a closer look. There it is. Bon appetit. Okay, so I kind of messed up on the soup. Um, if you're going to make the shrimp soup, you should grind the shrimp and make it in the same day because if you leave it for two days like I did, it was really hard and not good. So, uh, just a side note. But now moving on to um, another recipe. And this is the bean recipe. The sausage bean um, pasta that my sister picked for our sister's cooking club. We're starting off with the rosemary and the olive oil for two minutes. And now we're adding the spicy Italian sausage, nice and brown. Okay, so these ingredients require chickpeas, but we don't have chickpeas at the store because it's sold out, everyone got it. And it requires pasta, so pasta is also out. So this will work, chickpea pasta combined together. Hopefully it will be okay. And here's my final dish, pasta beans, chard, lettuce-ish, and sausage. This is the um, recipe that Hong Ung picked out for our sister's cooking club. Let me show you what it is. It is called the... doesn't look like it, but too bad. We have to deal with whatever recipes we have. Sausage, greens, and beans pasta. There it is. Vin wants to know why the pasta tastes weird, and I said because when we, I was at the store, chickpea was sold out and pasta was sold out, but they have a combo of chickpeas and pasta. And Vin was like... <laughs> I don't know if I like this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the chickpeas either, but this is the chickpea right here. We're supposed to have this and the pasta mm. separately, but they're combined. They're made as one. That's so I figured... If you were to take something out of this recipe, what would it be? The pasta chickpea. The be but you would have the pasta, you wouldn't have the beans, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pasta included would be fine, but the beans, no good. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be satisfied with this one. Because the beans, right? The beans and plus it's just too healthy. Maybe it's too it's healthy. Too healthy. Cause you know that satisfied feeling when You know, like Jiao, mm -hmm. you eat oh, This is no good. This is mm -hmm. okay. Regular pasta would have been better. Well, yeah, I agree. Regular pasta would have been better, but we don't have regular pasta. We do have regular pasta, yeah. but we're saving that for other um, dishes. But since we have pasta chickpeas, I figured it was a two for one kind of deal. Mm -hmm. But um, it's okay. I mean, it's just if you were to do this recipe, I would definitely minus the chickpeas. Yeah. Not good. Oh, great. This baby refuses to go to sleep, and the drooling is serious. <laughs> Are you doing that thing with me? He's been doing this eye thing with me lately. Monkey to monkey do. Because I keep looking at him like that. So he's doing the same thing. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi. Okay. Play for now, okay? We've got pizza roll and chicken nuggets going. Um, today's turn up Friday. I thought it was Wednesday, but it's Friday. Time flies when you're having fun, huh? Let's um, have some wine. Also having this mango beer, something refreshing before I do the wine. Pizza rolls are here, hanging out with my brother, curiosity chats. Game right now. What color? Red. Red. And it's stupid what she's doing. She's putting it under couples. And I'm like, dude, dude just use couples the is the spiciest one. There's the friends and there's Okay, family we're gonna do friends and family couple. later and you're gonna see how boring it is. So which photo of us together is your favorite? <laughs> 
so stupid. <laughs> Come on, we I had a know. we had oh, a yeah. when we when we were going uh well it's still on my my favorite that I've known. See, we it's, have see it's not a couple, but it's a family. Gender. Yes, obviously. We're using the couples <laughs> questionnaires as <laughs> any <stupid>. question. <laughs> Let's see this photo that's your favorite of us together. Of us together. Oh snaps. That one so um lit. it's in a... The, on the cruise. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is uh, just last year, October. Six. <laughs> Moving on to wine right now, and we are doing charades. Okay. All right. I only got six because you couldn't answer it. <laughs> Go. Um, this is the guy who's always like crazy during um, Christmas time. The one that's always uh. Scrooge. Yes. Okay, and this is guy who always lies and then his nose grows. Pinocchio. Yes. And then this guy is always like in like in a bad mood with the seven doors. Um this Grumpy. Guy, yes. And this guy is um the little guy that follows Mulan around. The, the little, dragon. Yes. Mushu. Yes. Um I think this is the guy in um Zeus. It's um Pegasus. No no the other one. Uh, the evil guy, I think. So, Next. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the evil lady who took away Ariel's voice. Oh, what's her name? What's her name? The evil queen. Yeah, the evil lady. The evil, uh, I don't know. Oh my god, up oh, then. Oh my god. Okay, I this is the one that's super shy, part of the seven dwarves. Shy? Yeah, he's just shy. Dopey. No. Shy? He's shy. What's his name? Shy Shy? <laughs> <laughs> he's bashful. Oh, bashful. <laughs> And Ursula. Ursula. Oh my god. Oh, Ursula. Okay. That's just a bad villain name. <laughs> Ursula. Call somebody Ursula. I think it's like pretty good. Kids. You don't like your kids. <laughs> you call somebody Ursula. Okay. Play. <laughs> okay. So this is the guy that steals from the poor and gives to the rich. I mean, steals from the rich, gives to the poor. Uh, kept, uh, uh, With the arrow? Freaking, I know this he one. He takes things from people? This is Robin Hood. Yes. Um, I don't know this one. Go up. Um, this is the seven doors, one of them, and I kept on saying it right now. <laughs> Shy. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, um, it's kind of like he's a funny person when you're like a funny, he <laughs> he. Cheerful. Uh, I don't know this seven doors, don't be. Yes, yes. Um, this is a, uh, thunder. Thunder? Yeah, it's like thunder, but it's a it was a dog. I don't know if you know it. It's a dog. Bolt? Yes. Hey, over here, man. <laughs> um, this is Pinocchio's um dude guy. Uh, the dad? No, the dude. The donkey. Pino not Pinocchio, but <laughs> Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Oh, <laughs> the guy she's into? Yeah. John Smith. Yes. Uh, this is guy that's a new Disney movie. And he, oh. Time's and up. what? Time's up. I know. Oh, you, like he you, goes and he goes like, he's in a video game and he starts beating everything and he's a he's a cool guy, but. Uh, uh, I know who you're talking about. I don't know his name. <laughs> Magic Mike? No. Magic Mike! <laughs> Wreck and Ralph. Wreck and Ralph. Okay, well, we're pretty good with the Disney so far. <laughs> Let's continue our charades. New Jersey? I don't know. It's hard. Slap in your hand! <laughs> Germany! <laughs> yes. Arigato. Japanese. I knew it was a pandemic. It was a pandemic. And I knew it before. Donald Trump! Yes. <laughs> wow. I am the vice president. No Biden. No, a woman. Oh. Okay, it is the end of the night. We're gonna go to sleep and um, hopefully do the same thing tomorrow. Figure something out. Night, guys.